Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game walkthrough. Mm -hmm. Today we'll be playing the game Wild Descent, which is for two to four players, and it has two different variations of play. One is going to be the adventure mode, which we'll cover a little later, but right now we're going to be playing the arena mode. And there's also three variants to that one as well. Uh, this one here is going to be the deathmatch mode, and there's two other modes. There's going to be last man standing, which you're going to have to eliminate the entire enemy team, or scenario, which you're going to have unique objectives. But in deathmatch mode, we're simply going to be trying to eliminate each other's main character. In this game, we're going to get two of the larger monsters, three of the smaller ones and our main character moving around the board in a tactics style combat with of course some objectives to deal with and then of course on the board here there's going to be a bunch of different train spaces that are going to basically uh, try and hinder us uh, we went ahead and set up everything we've chosen our characters we've set up our, uh, our, our unique weapons and our items as well as our unique abilities and there's plenty of abilities in the game that are going to be different that you yeah. get to choose from and then we also have our main character which has its main stats and everything already on it we went ahead and set up uh, um, his side of the board he set up his mine i set up mine and you can't place in these two uh, columns here uh, and you're going to put these uh different ob object uh, obstacles across here as you can see and then of course on this side is going to be where my units are and on this side is where his units are finally over on this board here is going to be the life totals these are his monsters here and these are mine if they ever hit zero they're kaput that means they're gone and then you're just gonna have to deal with it uh, in this case here you only need to destroy one monster to win I went ahead and set up the uh, extra character tokens for my side, and he has his extra character tokens. And I think other than that, we're going to be ready to begin. I have some extra tokens here for our die rolling, which we'll probably be using, due to the fact we only have one set of these blue dice, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So let's go ahead and get started. Grant, how do we begin the game? Well, we begin the game by drawing a... a... Uh, silver stream card. All right, these are called edicts, and the first one here says Poison Mist. Poison Mist is basically, uh, it says assign one damage to a gladiator whenever they move one or more fields. So this is a way to make us take damage. So you can go ahead and put somewhere on the board or away from the board if you've got no, no space for it. And this is just a reminder throughout the entire round, basically, this is going to affect us in some way. And our entire round is we go back and forth for each of our characters, and they basically are used. And after all the characters have been used, that's when the round is going well, to end. Well, actually, not all of the cards in that deck are edicts. Edicts last for the entire game. Oh, yep. okay. So this is an entire game? Yep. There's going to be whims, which last for just the round, edicts, which last for the rest of the game, and then there's going to be one more, which are like miniature quests, which affect the particular round. Like, in this round, don't assign dice to your... Okay. So, but in this case, this is just going to be something nasty for us to deal with. Yep, for the rest of the game. Okay. So, now we went ahead and drew, drawn a card. This is an edict. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take five of these die here, and I'm going to roll them first. Yep, five can be modified based on other other things. And then I'm going to assign them. So, I got three of these here. I'm just going to go ahead and use, use these tokens. And I get to put them on any of my monsters or characters, and I can't have the same... I can't put more than one on, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's correct. But for this particular role, you only get to put one on because you don't get to heal any because you're already at full health and oh, two, you got two whiffs. No. Oh, okay. So one of your creatures is going to deal uh, extra damage on all its attacks this round. Can I also put on my character? No, you cannot. Okay. The only thing you can put on your character is the healing one. Let's go ahead and go with the Demon Wretch. Sure. Right, well, I got a not very good roll there, and you can go ahead and take yours. Oh, no. Drop and die. Drop and die. Here, yeah. use this one. Use this one. I'll find it later. All right, so I got two speeds, two heals, and a damage. So I'll put- There's two speeds, and two heals, and a damage. That way we can use the die for later use, I guess. And then I'll put a speed. On. Okay, so you can put multiple, you just can't put the same, more yeah, than one on. You can put two on each monster, but they have to be different. Okay. And then that's it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and begin with the turn order, right? Yep. So, so. I would start, and I'm gonna start with my character here, yep. of course. And this basically says I assign one damage to a gladiator whenever they would move one or more field. So what is a field considered? Any any singular tile is a field. So if you move one space, that's gonna be a field. And all of these damage. are going to be gladiators. Yep. Wow. So we're we're gonna be dealing with poison mists. That's that's nasty. All right. Well, Korat is gonna go first. He has a chaotic staff, which means that when he attacks, he can choose to do either magic or he can choose to do physical if he uses his staff. He also has his main base damage, which is his own character uh, damage. So he's got five range on that with three base damage, and he can roll five die. He's got a defense of one for physical and three for magic. He's also got a handful of sand. He can throw something, something in somebody's face, which just basically says that the gladiator's attacks have on damage blind and on special fatigue. I've also got a soul blast and an eclipse. Eclipse basically is a uh, lets me heal all of my creatures for two and deal two damage to all my 
opponent's enemies, or all my enemies, uh, creatures. And then Soul Blast, whenever an ally creature is slain, I do five damage to a creature or uh, to an enemy creature. So pretty useful. Now for movement is the top left hand corner, which is basically going to say four for my guy. Mm -hmm. And then I've got 20 HP, which is indicated over here on the marker. All the rest of the characters all have their own HP and stats and skills. And of course, they're already all, all labeled on there. So I'm gonna start with my character, which is this guy right here. And I'm simply going to go ahead and move him. Now, is it just- Now remember, you can move forward, left or right based on your character's facing. So he's already facing this way, right? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, for one speed, you can rotate to any direction. One, two, three, hmm, four? Now remember, if you're attacked from behind, you're going to take uh, extra four. damage. I'll just rotate him like that for four. And I have a range of five. And one, two, three, four. No, it's, no? this is one, this is two, this is three. This is four, and this is five. And as long as like, my center base can touch your center base, it can mm -hmm. hit. So I would be attacking this guy here, right? I believe so. Okay, so I'll go ahead and roll my... I will utilize my my main uh, character. What, what, what is his uh, defense for uh, physical? Uh, it's one physical defense. And magic? One magic defense. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with my... Let's go with my, my 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 main character. We'll see if I can get some bonuses there. So I'm going to take five dice. It's got three base on magical, and let's see if I can pull off some more damage. And I've got one, two, three more. So that is going to net me six with a star, uh, which is seven. And I don't have a star ability, unfortunately. Uh, you have your handful of sand. It does when on special it oh. fatigues them. Yes, it does fatigue you on special. Okay. Um, and also, I, I whenever I move a gladiator one or more feel they take a damage, right? So I'm gonna be taking a damage. Yep. Okay, and so you took seven minus one, right? Mm -hmm. So you take six. And uh, you're up. Okay, so I will, I have a uh, Griffin Hide Gloves, which is whenever I attack a creature, I get an additional die. Then I have a consumable Dragon's Blood Potion, which will let me heal for 10. Uh, whenever I uh, roll a special, I stun. And then, um, with my targets are damaged, I can ignore your armor. Whenever I deal damage, I can heal all of my allied creatures for two, but the cost for that is I can't use healing die on myself. And then I have an action that allows me to make one of my gladiators immune for a turn until their next activation. Yep. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then four. And what are my momentum die called? Uh, they're called momentum die. I mean, what, sorry, which one, what are they? Those ones. These ones over here? Okay. Yes. So I actually had an ability that says when uh, they're rolled, choose an enemy momentum die and discard it. But I'll remember for next time. Okay. So you've got your... Oh, wait, are you attacking? I cannot attack. Okay. I have a range of one. All right. So I'm up next. Mm -hmm. All right. So I got my demon wretch. And uh, that one is going to be... Which one is that one? This this guy over here? Uh, yes. Can he, uh, he can't move through my units, can he? No, he can't. That was probably a misplay when you set up. So. That's true. I wouldn't have probably set him up there because you have to set him up in order here and then you have to go through the order. Uh, well, maybe try flanking me for something. Hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be one to flip over like now, that, I right? believe that guy, when it uh, activates, he spawns a unit. Yeah, so it says on activation, summon one uh, demon spawn with three speed, one range, and an attack die. Do I spawn it, I spawn it next to me? Well, yeah, it spawns adjacent. Okay, and does he also get to move as well? Yes. Three speed. One, oof, two, I guess. So that was one, two, three, and then four over there like that. He also has the ability um, bo Boiling Blood on attack. He makes a bleed, and then Ravenous on a special. He does life steal. Now remember, you can move left, right, or forward off of your move, and you can rotate to any direction, so you don't need to rotate twice to move like that. So what would I do instead if I was like this? Perhaps turn to facing this way. Oh, that's and true. Then... I can turn just one. And that would be two, yep. and then three and four. Okay. Because you can move left or right. Yeah. That's correct. All right, you're up. What do you got? All right, I got the Woodland Sentinel, which has a move of three. So I'm just going to... Well, he actually uh, will spawn a guy adjacent. So oh, and we also took damages from both for our for our movements. Right. Yep, so 15, so I'll, I lose... Which one is this guy here? The Demon Wretch. That'd be this guy. His activation will be to just not do anything. Okay. 
And I will use these to mark the activations. That's a good idea. And I'm up. Yep. Your All Phoenix right. is next. I got my Phoenix here. So she uh, can rebirth. If she dies, she comes back and she has a token on her. And then she assigns four damage uh, to self-heal an allied creature for eight. So she can do four damage to herself to heal somebody. That's pretty useful. So we're going to try and get her near my main character if possible. One, two, three, four, hmm, and five. I think is what we're going to do. She's got a range of two. Now, if I were to do this for, would I be able to attack him? No, you would not. Because okay. these would be in range and then. All right. So I will then pass. All right. Next, I got my stream caller. So we're going to have him. He's got range of four. Yep. So I'm going to go one and then for three, I can move through this. Yep. And that will be his activation. Okay. All right, my Wildflower. Also, my Phoenix took damage. And I got my Wildflower next. Uh, he's got Thorns on attack. He makes people bleed. And he can slay a creature if they have five health or less. And if he slays one of his own creatures, he can heal himself back to full. So okay. that's pretty sweet. Does that count for minions? Uh, they have one HP. I don't, I don't think they count as creatures, though. Okay. I mean, because that'd be pretty sweet. All right. Uh, so what, what about these guys here? What happens when I walk on if one of those guys? If you walk on one of those, you will take two damage. Okay, and those guys are called? They're uh, spending blade traps or something like they that. They take how much damage again? Two damage. Ooh, is it worth it? I don't think you can actually move on those. I think you it's can just, be if, knocked into okay, them. Okay, okay. One, two, three. Just that and he will way. go ahead and drop himself down one point. He's not close. He's got three, three, three range. Would that cut it? Uh, so range would be right here, right here. So he's not in range if he's okay. facing this way. All right. All right. Next, we got the exalted effigy with four movement. So we'll go one, two, three, and four. Yep. And on his activation, he heals four, but that happens after he moves, or before he moves. So. Is that every time? Yes. Wow, powerful. Okay. All right, I'm up with my lava fiend now. Which is this boy right here. Um, let's see. He can, on defense, he assigns two dice of damage to adjacent attackers. And then he can make an eruption. Attacks all, hits all adjacent fields. Wow, that's pretty sweet. And then Lava Pool. Place a creature on any unopen, uh, place creature on any unoccupied field. So basically I can use, the play is an action, right? Mm -hmm. And the plus is a passive. And then the starburst looking effect is basically an on activated trigger. So I yeah. can go ahead and move him anywhere I want on the board, and that would be in, in a full action, right? I, I can't actually read your card from here. So. Oh, okay. Well, it says lava pool. Place creature on any unoccupied field. Okay. Right? So I could put him over here if I wanted to, right? I believe that's how that works. Would I also get to attack? No, that's his action. Okay. Oh, so we'd be move and then it'd be attack, unless I chose to use that as an action. Okay. Uh, which makes sense, I suppose, and that would be it for this guy here. And he also takes a damage, which is sad because he has not very much health. That is indeed sad. Okay, I have this guy right here, so he will move one, two, three. That is enough to actually be in range. Yep. So he'll take one damage from moving. Yep. He'll attack for two plus four um, of these. You got Which is four. Let's see if he has any specials, because I rolled three of those. Total of he six. He does so. not, so it's just six damage. To the face, six damage, 19 to 13. Nothing to help. Nope, nope. Oh, I have three. Is it magic or is it... Um, it is magic, so... I, I so It's magic, so I have three defense. Okay, so you take three damage instead of six. I like that. That's much better. Okay. Uh, my turn? That is. My final character is going to be the Horned Golem. Oh, I moved the wrong one. Okay, Horned Golem. He is... He's got... Has five magical defense until its next activation. That's pretty useful. 
And so if I don't move him, I can choose to harden him up. Mm -hmm. And I can assign four damage to self heal to make a six attack die attack against all enemy gladiators in a line from the horn golem to any edge of the arena. Ooh, that's really good. He can take damage to himself to do damage to everybody. Uh, with the with, with the sighting dice, the rolling dice. Okay. Um, he's got f f three movement. He's kind of slow right now. One, two, and three. All right. I think that'll be it for him. And he'll also take his damage, of course. All right. So this guy's got an armor value of five. Yeah, he's strong. He's strong. Wait, wait, wait. The lava fiend? No, the the go the, the, the golem. What the the lava fiend has nothing. Zero. zero and zero. Yep. Okay, so he's going to activate. He's going to move one, two, and rotate. Yep. Um, then he's going to take a damage for that. Then he's going to attack. So he's got an attack of four. Now he doesn't have a lot of health left. He does not. Any special ability to make Yeah, that? he actually, when he activates, he takes another activation after he activates. Wow. All right, so that is a total of... Five damage. I just take straight up five. Okay, and then it's gonna activate again, and it's gonna attack you one more time. Yep. For six damage. Ouch. That nukes him. That's no good. That makes me sad. It's got some nice flavor text in the back to illustrate that he died. I imagine the griffin will be joining you shortly. All right, that's the end of the round, right? Yeah, that is. All right, so we're gonna remove all these guys here, right? Yep. Did you take one damage from movement? Uh, he didn't move the second time. Okay. And this stays, of course, because it's an edict. Yep. Right? So we'll just leave it over here. And then we're going to go ahead and draw, draw a new another one. card. All right, here we go. What are we going to get here? A whim, impatience. Discard this card and draw and resolve two new live stream cards. That are those ones. So basically, junk this one and take two new ones here. Yep. Uh-oh, that's going to change the way the game is played for sure. Okay, all right. Which one, which one we got? Whim, another whim. Uh, so this one says fireballs, remove all blocking terrain from the air arena. Oh, wow. So that's going to be these blades. These guys here? It's going to be these guys here. And I don't believe it removes the partial cover. Okay. And then we have a demand. Give me blood. Condition, damage an enemy ascent this round. Success, heal one allied creature for five. Failure, assign five damage to an allied creature with the highest health. So we need to hit our opponent's main character. And if we do, we gain five. If not, we lose five. Yep. Wow. Okay. Is these it back are, to my turn now quests. or is it your turn? So whoever went goes second in the round, it becomes first player in uh, the next round. Okay, you're going to need these five here. Yep. And you're going to take these off now. And I will as well. They didn't help me very much, unfortunately. Well, there's th now, now the heals will actually matter. Okay, so you said something about removing a die? Yeah. How is that exactly? It just says that um, after momentum die are rolled, choose one enemy momentum die and discard it. Is that this ability? This one right here. Oh, okay. So it's passive on my main character. So I will go ahead and get rid of... Let's get rid of that. Mm, yeah, let's get rid of that speed. Sure. Okay. So we'll put stream caller with uh, one defense. You got it? We'll put the griffin with one defense. Yep. And we'll put this one with one attack. Okay. An hour for me. All right. What do we get here? I got some heals now. These are all plus two heals. That's actually a plus one heal. Oh, plus one heals. Yep. Okay. And then I got a speed, right? Yep. I'm give that to him. Cannot give that to him. Oh, you only, you I keep forgetting. Put on him. Dang it, I can't remember these things. All right, what, what's who's my slowest character? That's still alive. That is. Let's give it to the wild the little seedling. Okay, and then I got one plus one to. Let's just let's bump up my. Now can I give it to my? Now can I heal my main character or no? Yeah, you you can put the heals on your main character. And I can put as many as I'd like on him. I think so. Well, we won't. We'll put these guys just like that. Okay, we'll increase our heals. Cool. All right, you're first. All right, so I'm going to move this guy. One, two, and three. Yep. And then I'm just going to attack your face. You bet. 
Okay, that is six physical damage. Uh, I got one defense for physical, so that's going to uh, give me five, right? Okay, and then, because I dealt damage to you, all of my adjacent creatures would heal for two. There's no, I don't have any adjacent creatures. All right, so it's my turn now, right? Um, my guy takes one damage from moving, yep. so don't forget about that. Uh, I'm just going to stay right where I am with my main character, Coralt, here, and uh, I'm going to use my... What's how much magic damage defense you have? I have two magic defense. And uh, other one? Uh, two physical defense. Okay, so we're going to go with uh, Coralt's main again. We'll just stick with the uh, magical. Right. And uh, that'll give us five dice, so it's three and five. Let's see if we can get some specials here. Uh, we did not, we did get five attacks, which is very nice. So that's going to be a total of, uh, eight. Oh, also, whenever one of my, my allied creatures was slain, I assigned five damage to an enemy creature. That happened last round. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not a may, so let's just give it to your highest character, for because because I forgot. Okay. The wild one, so no, we'll go down 20. Yeah. That's what happens when you forget things. Don't forget rules. All right. Um, we both uh, satisfied the condition for the demand, correct? Yes, we did. That's good. All right. So, you're after your so turn those now. will get resolved at the end of the round. Yep. Okay, so he's got a range of one, but and I don't have to. I don't have to take damage because I didn't move. So I'll go one, two, and three, and then for the heck of it, I'll rotate to face this guy. You bet. Then I will use his ability. Um. Entangle yep. and on defense, immobilize and retaliate against adjacent attackers. So it's probably not a good idea to attack him. And that's this guy right here, right? Yep. All right. You know, attack. So you're just using your ability then? Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I'm up then. I'm going to take this guy off. We're going to go with my demon wretch this time. Where are you, demon wretch? He's over here trying to flank or something yes he is all alone so we got i still got four movement though and he's got five one two three and four and we'll turn that for five and um he's gonna take one damage because he moved and then he's got his oh on activation he spawns a a monster so something like that right mm -hmm. wait i put anywhere adjacent to him yeah okay and then on attack, he does bleed. That's pretty cool. He's really cool. On special, he does a life steal. Okay, so it's he's got a magical attack. It's a five range. So we're gonna go with this guy here, and uh, he's got four base magical and three dice. All right, four base, three dice, and a special, which is gonna mean he gets life steal. So with plus one. So that's a total of five with okay. life. Okay, six. Well, he hits for uh, three damage, so I don't think you can heal more than three. Yeah. So, yeah, he did a total of six damage, though, by the way. Is that right? Uh, yes, he's only got one resist. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and heal for three. And he's got a total of 15 health, so he only heals for two anyway. And then uh, he's going to be done. I smoked one of your dudes. Yep. Yeah. I imagine he was going to, to be roasted. Griffin. First blood for me. Second blood. Second blood for me. I scored second blood. That's Second cool, right? blood, indeed. All right. So we'll spawn one of these. Uh, these get to move, so one, two, and three and four. One, two, three, and four. And then he's got a movement of three. One, two, and three. So he'll take one damage. All right. I'm up now, right? With yes. my Phoenix. Uh, one. And what's his move? Okay, he's got two range, so he'll chill here, and he's going to go ahead and hit this guy here, I think. Uh, Sue, that's assigning four damage to self to heal. Okay, I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to hit. So that's four magic with two dice. And that's going to give me six total magic. Mm -hmm. And I've got my special one. I don't have a special for this character. So six magic. Okay, so we'll take four damage. All right. What's next? We have the Exalted Effigy. Which is over here. He's going to heal, right? Yep, he's going to heal up to. Is that seventeen? So where's this thing? Heals to full. I'm not going to bother trying to kill that guy right now. We'll just go one, two, three, 
The tactics are real. Yes, they are. Four. Yep. And we have a, a range of three. So I guess I'll attack the Phoenix. All right. <clears throat> so it'd be like that. Yep. You got it. He's got four damage and four die. I have one defense. Regardless. Uh, and just, six. Just six. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Then. All right. I'm up with my with my nummer, my wild seed flower. Where is he? He's over here. Yep. That's one. Two and three. Now he has a range of three. Can he actually hit him? Not from right there, because we got. This is one. Uh, actually, yes. Nice! And on my attack, it doesn't bleed. I can slay creatures with fire. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this. I'm just doing it is a three range. It's two base uh, for magic and four dice. Two and four. And I score two specials and normal, so that is gonna net me five. But there's no need for specials, so five damage, and I uh, bleed. Five minus whatever defense has for magic. One, two, three, and bleed. You say? Yep. What's bleed do? Uh, at the, during your activation, you take one damage, and okay. it's removed when you heal. Uh, that's it. Okay, so we have the River Guardian next. Now, all your characters get to activate, regardless of how many characters I have, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, dying is scary, then. Luckily, we both have one character dead, though, so it's not going to be as, as detrimental for us. Okay, so he's got a range of five. Yep. How much health does your phoenix have left? Uh, ten. Alright, I think he will attack your... Make five attack dice against all adjacent enemies, gladiators. You have four range? One, two, three. Oh, you have five range. Okay. You hit both of these guys then? So actually, he's going to go one, two, three, four. Uh oh. And then he's going to do tidal wave, make a five attack die you against. You move, all, take a damage. Against uh, all, all adjacent. adjacent enemies. So that'd be these three then, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, when do I activate these? Well, when I activate him? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is my, my, my Butterfingers friend over here. Drop and die all the time. All right, so we got four. Just four total damage? It is four off the die roll, plus two more. And melee magic, or...? or... It is magic, and then on attack, it's going to also knock back. <laughs> so three to my main guy, and he knocks back one. Yep. Uh, three to him, and he just dies. Oh, actually, this one. Oh, okay, sorry. Three to three to him, and he just dies. And then three to this guy, which is my... Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. Uh, 20. Uh, and no, not three. He, my Phoenix is... Takes five. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. And then... Um, knock back as well, right? Yep. Okay. Ouch. That was nasty. Okay, so I can't use my Lava Fiend because he just died, unfortunately. Yeah. But I can go ahead and use my Horn Golem next. And I'm going to go ahead and do so. My Horn Golem is uh, right over here. So let's go ahead and move. He's going to go one, two, and then three. As for his three movement. And I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, ability Rock Toss, which means he's going to assign four damage to himself. One, two, three, four. And then I get to go ahead and roll six attack die. I believe, right? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I get to do damage to you by assigning damage to you. And what does assigning damage do exactly? Uh, it ignores your, your uh, defense. So that is four. Okay. Beautiful. Good. Okay. And he's done with his move, so I put that on him. And uh, you're up. And um, you, that's the end of the round. That's it, for, that's it. We don't have any more creatures, so we'll go ahead and take all these guys off. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at our demand. I also I took a damage for moving him too. Ouch. He's take, he took some damage there. All right. This demand says on success, heal al one allied creature for five. Let's go ahead and heal my golem up. One, two, three, four, five. Heal this one. Okay. This one just gets discarded. Yep. And then we'll get just a new one. A new one. 
This is an edict. Mystic Luct. When attacking, gladiators may reroll one or more attack die. The second resolve has to be used. Okay. So reroll one or more? Yep. Cool. Oh, and it lasts forever. Cool. I guess we can set them over here since our characters don't even have that much health. Sure. Okay. Um, and now I get to go first. Yep. Right? Okay. So Coralt is going to go again. He's going to slam into your main character again. So that's how you win the game is by destroying this guy here. So he's going to go ahead and use his magic attack once more. Five ranged. He does have enough. He's going to go ahead and take uh, his three base attack and his five dice. Oh, no. Before we do that, we have to do our, roll, our rolls. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and roll five of these guys here. Oh, no. Good. I got it. Here we go. Uh, shields. Okay, shields. Let's let's give everybody a shield, and then we'll heal, um, let's heal my main guy for one. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll take off this here and put my shields on, and then you get to go ahead and roll your dice. I got one heal and two shields. Alright, go ahead and leave the two shield dice on your characters then. And then choose a guy to heal. I'll heal him for one. One. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to attack. So now I'm going to go ahead and make it my range of five. No big deal. Two. And then I got my three base, five main. Here we go. And that is three more. So that's a total of six there. Um, and I have a special. So uh, fatigue. An on damage blind. Okay. And so you take uh, four? Uh, yes. All right. You're up. So he takes one damage because he's bleeding? Yeah, boy. That's how then you I'll do it. my dragon's blood potion. Okay. Which will heal me for ten and remove the bleed. Oh, wow. That special ability he has? Uh, it's one of the, the items that he comes equipped with, but it's a consumable, so he only has one charge. So he gets the thirteen then? Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, you still have blind fatigue, though. Yes. So... Fatigue is you move two less space, or you have two less speed, and blind is you use two less die to attack. Okay. So let's see. So I'll go ahead and put a character. Don't have my die. All right. I'll just move over here and attack. Okay. So I'll need uh, two, one die, I guess. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Alright, so I got a special. Uh, it's gonna give me one extra damage, so it's gonna be four physical damage. I have one defense, so that puts, me, puts three. And then you're gonna get stunned on that character, which means you skip your next activation. Ouch! Then, wow. because I dealt damage, I heal um, adjacent monsters for two. Okay. My demon reaches up next, and which one is that one? Where is he? He's over here? This yep. one? Okay, and he gets to move four. Does he want to move? Did you, did you move your character? You didn't, right? Or you did? I did, actually. So you take one damage then. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to move my damage reach. I can once again hit him. I've got enough range. And I get my... It's uh, five range. I get my four magic. And then I get three dice. And uh, on activation, I summon a dude. Let's go ahead and utilize these guys too, right? So let's move this guy in first. And he has a three speed, uh, one range, and three attack dice. Does he have one health? Yeah, he has one health. Ooh, does he die? To, does he no, die? No, no, only gladiators. Okay. Die that. So three attack dice. T three. Three physical. It's one damage. Okay. And I guess I can use this guy too. Now, if I go this way here, can I still attack you? With this character? Or not? Um. Yes, I believe so. All right. Two more, so it's nothing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swing at you now. Four and two. Oh no, sorry. Uh, four and three. Uh, it's gonna be five. One, two, three. All right, and you're up. <laughs> we have stream caller. I will use that guy. Yeah. One, two. Well, actually, it's, you're facing this way. I'll go yep. one, two, and three. Uh oh, here comes the back attack. That's nasty. Yep. So when you attack from behind, you're going to deal two additional base damage. Okay. Alright, so he's got 
five attack and three die. So it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight physical damage. Okay, to my wild wildflower. Mm -hmm. And he is at fifteen, so he will drop down eight. Oh no! How much? What is it? His uh, what attack is it? Magic or it is physical. So eight total. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Dang, that's nasty. Okay, I'm up. Yep. It's my phoenix is going now. Hmm. And five, one, two, three, four, and she's got a range of two, so she's just gonna stay behind like that. And that will give her four magic and two dice. Total of six. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now you would have got more bonus damage had you moved one other space because you're not technically behind them. Oh, okay. But uh, the other reason why I didn't move forward is because now I'm, I'm, I'm back here. Yep. So you can't move behind me. Woodland Sentinel. He's gonna go one, two, three. Okay. And these guys are gonna move as well. Something like this. So he's got a attack of three die and on attack bleed. So that's gonna be three hits. Three and a bleed on my uh, wild sp spitter again. Yep. All right, so I got one defense. So I'll be two, and I take a bleed. Yep. This symbol here, right? I actually have, I have one defense on this character though, so I keep one of my healths, right? Yep. Nice. There, those die are coming in useful. All right, next one is my horned uh, golem, right? Oh uh, no, this this is still attacking because these are Oh, those are your little guys. Okay, you still yep. got some more to go. So he's got five plus three die. And that's gonna be uh, seven. Ooh, so I take six then. And that kills it. Had six health. And I believe that was before the activation. Wait, wait, you told how much total damage? That was gonna be for for all the entire round. Total, no, like just now. How much damage is that total? That was uh Seven. Seven? This guy. Okay, I have one defense here, one defense here. So that would be five damage, actually, which would keep me at one. Ooh, off the skin of my teeth. Okay. And then my horn golem's up now? Yes. All right. Um, what's he going to do then? He's being blocked by this guy. Hmm. And this guy. So he'll go ahead and move like that. And once again, he's going to hurt himself for four because then he can use six die. Now, it's uh, it's only enemies, so these guys are okay, right? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I get some damage on them. Uh, we got five. A sign. Well, that's enough to kill off my hero. And because the signing is just simply straight damage to it, right? Yep. And because we're playing the deathmatch variant and your hero's down, that would be the game end, yeah, right? The end of the end. Success and great victory! What was your... Uh, was, were you expecting that amazing strategy right there? No, I was not. It just blew me out, blew me out of the water. <laughs> I didn't actually. I was like, oh wait, I can do that. And assigning damage is very, very powerful mm -hmm. at the cost of losing a lot of health. Now a lot of my guys are very, very low right now, but because my objective was to kill your guy, uh, it didn't matter. I had a bunch of guys that were basically dead, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all your guys were at the lowest end was 15. I only had one at 15. The rest of my guys were lower than were ten. Were lower than 10. Mm -hmm. So it was a super close game. Like I said, though, this is just one of the variants. The other one is you fight until the very the bitter end, and then the other one is uh, scenarios. So I'm guessing there's multiple scenarios. And this is the competitive game mode for the game. It's a simple drafting aspect in which you're going to be drafting your creatures. We didn't show you all the beginning aspects of placing down the tokens and whatnot. I think you can learn that as you go along. It's pretty, pretty, it's pretty simple. Yeah. Though. You each get your, your own side. And then, of course, selecting your own monsters. And there are other monsters in the game you can select, I believe, right? I don't know, actually, no, this is all we have. So. Okay, this is what we have, at least. And there, there are additional characters, however, uh, that we didn't get to use because we don't have the miniatures for them, but we have over here, Yira, and then we've got Lady Aelwyn, and then we've got 
Amelia, and then there's Sarek. And yeah. we have more for the uh, cooperative variant of Each the Each of those have five abilities that you can equip two of them on, so there's a lot of customization. And that's do. why for mine I had to heal my creatures and assign two damage to all enemy creatures. Well, there's like, like seven, eight of these cards, and you get to pick one, maybe. Yeah, we and each character has their own unique aspects, and they all have their own unique tokens as well, which is why you had your potion, and I had my phoenix token there, which if you killed my phoenix, she would, would have came back to life. Oh, we also I forgot to take some damage for my for my movement, but uh, that's the basic idea of the game. Thanks for watching a little playthrough here of Wild Ascent. I hope you guys had a good time, and as always, we look forward to seeing See you next time. Coming to Kickstarter, October 2018.